Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the uh, Friday, 3rd of November 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, looking at uh, US, or should we say European markets this morning, uh, in terms of the uh, obviously reaction with regards to Apple earnings yesterday, uh, certainly coming in stronger than expected, certainly lifting markets uh, off the uh, off the lows, certainly reversing quite sharply on the um, the actual uh, US. Asian markets overnight relatively higher. Nikkei continues to power higher, Hang Seng higher. Shanghai really was a weak link, although overnight we did get uh, Chinese data coming in stronger than expected, cakes and PMI. Um, uh, certainly came in stronger. Mr. Trump certainly announced his uh, Fed chair, more or less everybody, uh, what we expected really. So let's see how uh, the market perceives him and uh, reacts to him. So far, so good by the look of things. Um, but let's see whether that can continue. So again, keep an eye on that. In terms of the UK, FTSE 100 really is outshining given the fact that uh, Mr. Carney followed the, uh, the footsteps of Mr. Draghi with his dovish rate hike. So uh, again, it was more about markets were, were expected to uh, see uh, solid rate rises going down down the road. And Mr. Carney didn't allude to that at all. He certainly uh, talked the uh, dovish game. So again, that's basically how the markets reacted. It certainly seems like the FTSE 100 uh, certainly seems to love that uh, perspective in terms of uh, the uh, the actual reaction, uh, given the fact that sterling certainly has uh, moved lower. If we bring up a chart of sterling for you, give you an insight there. Uh, you can see here sterling has absolutely could be an uh, absolutely annihilator obliterated so given the fact that they raised raised rates yet still uh, sterling failed to rise so again that certainly is a um, uh, very confusing okay very very confusing certainly doesn't follow the economic textbooks at all uh, but when has this market followed the textbook recently okay let's hope the markets realign back to fundamentals and start adhering to the economic textbooks either way we are into support on gbp usd uh, now i've taken a trade on short euro gbp uh, based on this okay so again uh, this obviously indicates a potential top in the FTSE as well if you uh, were to uh, turn that chart upside down because the inverse relationship with the uh, with the chart of sterling okay so that's the status quo there uh, in terms of um, news flow today uh, we have US data early and nothing from Europe to, uh, we have average weekly hours market services PMI is from the UK that should be out shortly. Uh, and then obviously you've got jobs data out of the US today. We've got PMI data. So a barrage of uh, economic data out from the US. And again, that will be uh, a US dollar centric. Now let's just look at the US dollar as well whilst we're here. Bring up the dollar chart. Okay, so the dollar chart at the moment, even with Mr. Powell obviously being confirmed. Uh, again, we've got an inverted head and shoulders on the daily chart. Yes, we're aware of that. Uh, whether or not it continues is a different story altogether. You are seeing resistance up here. Okay, so certainly looking to see weakness here, so keep an eye on that going forward in terms of the dollar index. Okay, so um, in terms of the technical picture then, for let's start off with the German DAX first and foremost. Okay, looking at the German DAX here, let's start off with the daily chart. We've just literally hit a uh, new, new all-time high above 13,500, so very impressive on the daily chart. 60-minute chart, you still hit you're holding that double bot top for now. We do need a convincing break through that. Let's see if we can continue. A 10 minute chart certainly has gapped high on the back of strong earnings from Apple, so that certainly has uh, influenced the uh, chart of the uh, German DAX again. So that's certainly something to consider there, okay, folks, with regards to the German DAX. So bear that in mind, okay. Uh, so that's the status quo with regards to German DAX. Let's move on to the French CAC now. French CAC daily chart seems to be struggling up here, okay, no real conviction or concerted move higher. There is a strong possibility now of a potential head and shoulders formation. So just bear that in mind, you have the left shoulder here, you have the head, okay, looking for the right shoulder, then looking to uh, obviously close the gap below. So again, looking at weakness on the French cat going forward, so bear that in mind, okay. Uh, again, let's see if that uh, weakness can continue with regards to the H&S formation on the French cat. So that certainly would be my uh, preferred option there with regards to the French cat. Moving on to the FTSE 100 now, again, like I said, if you inverse or you reverse a chart of sterling, You'll see that FTSE certainly is into resistance up here. You certainly have horizontal resistance, key resistance here at 7585 and then 75600. Okay, uh, we broke that bearish engulfing candle. We tested that key support at 7440 in the markets rallied ever since. So for now, <clears throat> certainly circumspect. That's all I can say with regards to FTSE. Uh, will Sterling hold that support? Will uh, FTSE hold resistance? Okay, markets or in traders are obviously interpreting the fact that Mr. Carney going forward will be uh, dovish. 
and therefore everybody wants to pile in onto this trade. So given the FTSE 100 has been lagging its pace, you've got the German DAX breaking out to all-time highs, you've got the uh, French cap pushing higher, the S&P, the Dow, etc. And the FTSE really has been the laggard, especially given the fact that there's a strong relationship between the FTSE and the Dow. Uh, and is it trying to catch up now? That's the question. Okay, is the FTSE playing catch up? Uh, can it play catch up? So that's where we are, okay, with regards to that. So bear that in mind. Okay, uh, in terms of the 10 minute charts, give you an insight there as well. 10 minute chart is certainly thrusting higher. Okay, very, very impressive here. You've certainly got, you've got an unfilled gap below at 7555. Bear that in mind. You've got support down here. Previous resistance equals support around the 7550 level. So 7550 is solid support now. For now, if that breaks, then you are looking at 7500 on the FTSE 100. Now, last but not least, you're looking at the Euro stocks. Okay, let's bring up the Euro stocks for you folks. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, so Euro stocks at the moment, uh, we're looking at a, uh, a push higher here. You are looking at resistance in the Euro stocks. We do have gap fill support around the 3670 zone. Okay, 3670. We did hit 3675 yesterday. We closed that gap and then bounced quite impressively. Uh, 60 minute chart at the moment. You currently have support around the 3670. If that cracks, then you're going down to 3640, which is gap fill. So watch out below. Okay. Daily chart at the moment, you're still holding that key resistance zone up here. If I bring up the weekly chart, I'll give you more of an insight. Okay, so you clearly have resistance in this weekly chart here at 3690, 3700 that we certainly need to hold. Okay, so that's the status quo there. Okay, folks, I think that's a good summary of European indices. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. And be sure to visit CFDs.com. Uh, certainly a benefit from that uh, healthy bonus. Goodbye now.